Some places, though, are not so hospitable. The Nether, a vast sea of magma and lava. Few creatures survive in this wasteland. The toughest are the ones to call it home. Immensely hot, incredibly dangerous, and almost impossible to find. Whoa, wait a second. No, no. The Nether is easy to find. I think everybody knows that. You just go for a Nether portal. Oh, easy to find it may be. Few dare venture into this realm. Only the frankly dim-witted. You can't say that. Oh. Guys, today we are making a hidden 6x6 Nether portal. Okay, just let's get on with the intro. <laughs> and welcome to another Minecraft Red tutorial. Yay! As I just said, yes, today we are making a 6x6 hidden nether portal. Now, normally I'd say a massive thank you to all the following people who suggested this video, but only one person suggested this video. So, um, yeah, let's have a round of applause for him. <laughs> Before this gets even more awkward, let's just, um, let's just take a look at the build. Let's not have any music today. Come on, let's just have a look at the build in a normal way. <laughs> so here is our 6x6 hidden never portal, but of course you can't see the never portal at the moment because it is hidden. <laughs> so all we have to do is flick this lever down here and there we are. The wall drops back and we have a never portal. We can go through into the world of absolute torture. Oops, I'm already in the fire. <laughs> that was good. And then when I'm done, go back through and then flick the lever. And as you can see, the never portal gets extinguished and the wall gets replaced back very nice and quickly. Has anyone else got this bug? Can you see this? Every time I go from the nether to the overworld, the corners don't render. And I don't know why, look. It just goes on and on. <laughs> but as soon as I log out, and then I log back in. Ready? It renders. That is a weird bug. <laughs> anyway, getting back to the build. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, this build is extremely fast. And you'll be pleased to know, it is fairly compact as well. I mean, it's not tiny. Of course, if you want a really small never portal, you just make a two by three one. But this one is fairly compact for how much it's doing. <laughs> anyway, so now you've seen the build and you've seen it working. Let's get on with this tutorial. Now, I know you're expecting me to read it really fast, but I just don't want to. <laughs> if you want to, read it really fast in your own time. <laughs> Now, for those of you who are wondering, the 12 blue blocks, they are blocks for us to go on. And the ones with the question mark, they are decoration blocks, but the rest is very self-explanatory. Now, you seem to really like how I did my last tutorial, where I kind of explained how the build worked as I was building it. So I'm going to try, <laughs> try and do that again. Let's see how it goes. Okay, to start this build, firstly, you need to construct a wall, exactly like I have here. So I have an eight wide by seven high wall. But basically the most important thing is that you have a six by six area like this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is exactly where our never portal is going to go, okay? It's gonna go through here. So these are the blocks you're gonna be moving. So we want to come around the back and first thing we need to place in our never portal. So we place in one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of obsidian going up like that, then uh, six along like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six up, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see it's kind of framing these blocks. Then a temporary block here, and then six along. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's our nether portal all in place. Now we need to work on moving these blocks. <laughs> now we do that with piston extenders and slime and honey, of course. <laughs> so firstly, place one, two, three, four, five, down like that not six because our piston extenders can only take this amount because of piston uh, push limits and things like that then six honey and then six slime then the six honey and you guessed it slime and then honey okay after you have our slime and honey all in place we need to place a temporary block here then another piece of obsidian or any immovable block remove this block an observer facing downward here a temporary block here a piston going toward our slime off the bottom of that block and then one in front and remove this block. Then we need dust here. Place a repeater coming away from this dust on this observer on three tick delay. So place it down and press it twice, once, twice. Then a block here and one up. 
remove this block and dust. And that basically is a little piston extender. <laughs> so if I were to place a lever here and then flick it on, this block will get powered and nothing will happen. But so will this dust. Then three ticks later, this block will get powered, which powers this dust, which extends this piston. Moving this piston to here, that block obviously will be powered, which will then have the full extension. Like that. Now I can't show you the retraction yet because I actually need to build some more of these piston extenders. So we need six in total. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then six in front. Then we can place and our observers facing downward. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Getting punched by stick distance here, <laughs> like that. Then our obsidian along with dust. Repeaters on three tick delay going this way. But because we've already got a block on this one, we can literally just take this, take this dust and go along like that. So now we have our full extensions. So now when I flick this lever off, first of all, these pistons will retract, moving the slime and honey back one. Then three ticks later, these pistons will retract, moving these pistons to here. And then three ticks later after that, this observer will pulse and it will pulse into that piston, which is there, moving the slime and honey blocks back to here, <laughs> like this. Okay, so at the moment, all we have is this. So you see, we still need to retract these blocks. And of course, we need to place some blocks underneath these ones here with the droppers as well for the water bucket and the flint and steel. So how do we do that? Well, firstly, we come underneath this obsidian here and place a block underneath every single one, like that. Then have a sticky piston on the side of every single one going toward these blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure there is an air gap between the sticky piston and the block. And then do the same on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can move these blocks here. After that, place a temporary block underneath these pistons, so the ones closest toward the back, then grab regular pistons and place one off the side of every one of these blocks. And you guessed it, remove these blocks. <laughs> now on the front of these pistons, so look toward our front of our build, we want a torch off the side like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these pistons should extend. Now come out one, two blocks from here, Place a sticky piston and a block of redstone and remove these blocks. So if I were to power this piston, so if I were to grab a lever, if I were to power this piston, that redstone block is going to move to here, which will extend this piston and this piston, but it will also, at the same time as powering this piston, will invert this torch, so then it will be off, which will retract this piston, like this. You can literally see these two pistons just swap. <laughs> so that's on, that's off. Now that's off, that's on. Now why do we do this? Well, because when I flick this lever on, we have our door, door is it a door? <laughs> when we have our never portal closed, when it is on, we want these to be closed, like that. But when it is off, we want these ones to retract, and we need some blocks here, like that, but we'll need droppers here, and droppers here, and then blocks in between. Okay, so after we've done that, we can remove this lever, and we can do these two all along. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and block of redstone in front of every one, like that. Now we want to place a block here, dust on top of that block, dust down, another block and dust on top, two bits of dust toward the right, and a block here, but no dust on this block. So now we're gonna work on a timing circuit and also how we're gonna actually wire up the dispensers. So to turn the never portal on and to turn the never portal off. Okay, so firstly, we need to place a block next to this block here and then have a lever like this and turn it on. Then a torch on top of that block and then a dropper on top of that torch. It doesn't matter which way it faces. Then a torch off the side of that dropper. A block here and one out. Remove this one and a repeater on four ticks coming away from this torch. So place it down and press it three times. Then a temporary block here and one up. And lastly, a torch like that. So when I flick this lever, this one retracts and these ones extend, and then when I flick the lever again, the opposite happens. Now at the moment, if I wired this up to the top, this build would break. 
why would it break? Well, when I fix this lever, firstly, these would retract, then that's fine. And this would move forward and that would work perfectly. But on the retraction, I don't know if I just place the lever here. On the retraction, when I fix this lever like this, and this retracts, you see that slime block would pass along the top of these pistons. And if I had these pistons extended, those blocks would go down to here and that's not good. <laughs> so I need to keep these pistons retracted for a little bit longer. Now, how do I do that? Well, I basically have to keep this torch off for a little bit longer. Now I do that by powering some dust on top of that block. So I place a torch on top of that dropper, and then a block, two pieces of obsidian like this, a repeater here on four tick delay, and a repeater here on two tick delay, and then finally an obsidian here. So now after four ticks, our pistons should retract. Brilliant. But now after six ticks, our pistons will extend. It's only a tiny bit longer, but that tiny bit makes a huge difference. So now we can actually wire it up to here. So torch on top of that block, a block up, obsidian here, and dust. And sorry, and finally, I was like, <laughs> I was getting so confused. Then a torch here, like that, okay? So click the lever, you can see that retracts instantly. We can do this with a test block, but flick the lever off, and as you see, it extends after that's retracted back. If I removed this bit, you can see this bit would work fine, but it would break now. Can you see that? That's why I have to have that extra little bit of delay like that. Okay, now the very final thing we have to do is work out these dispensers. So, we do that. Sorry, just bear with me a second. <laughs> oh, I'm in a mess. Oh. Right, now we do that by having one dispenser here and one here, and then we can place our blocks in like that. So the on is very easy, okay? So when this all retracts back, I want this dropper, or sorry, this dispenser to fire. Now I do that by literally grabbing a slab, placing it here, and dust. Now I can test that by actually placing in a block. So nothing will happen when it closes, but as soon as I open it, it all retracts. You can see that dispenser fires because that dispenser moves up to here in front of that dust. Basically what I'm trying to say is the dispenser on the left has water in it, so it needs to be pulsed twice. Once for the water bucket to be dispensed and the second time for the dispenser to pick up the water and put it back in the dispenser. It's not that hard to say. <laughs> but that is why we have the four ticks of delay before the pistons move. So it allows the dispenser time to dispense and then retract. Firstly, we have the water being dispensed by having an observer coming away from that dropper and a block. That's the first pulse. And then we have two blocks out like this, dust here and a repeater on three ticks coming away from that dust, crouch and placing a second observer like that. And that's our second pulse. So if I were to put two items in here, one, two, and then flick the lever, you see both of these items get dispensed and then it closes. So that would be perfect for our water. And that's, that's it. <laughs> so I can actually finally give it a quick test. Okay, so in the right dispenser, we have a flint and steel, and in the left, we have our water bucket. So when I flick this lever, we firstly should have water coming out, and then the water should retract, and then our build should close. Hopefully. <laughs> Brilliant. And then when I flick the lever off, we should have nothing happening with this dispenser, but when this whole build gets retracted, this dispenser down here will, ex will extend. No, it's not a piston. <laughs> we'll dispense. It's flint and steel, meaning that we have a lit never portal. Brilliant. <laughs> Oh, of course, now that you're done, you can replace these blocks with just any old wall blocks. It doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as it's a movable block, you're fine. <laughs> okay, so now we've done the build, how do we actually move the lever? Well, firstly, we could literally just power this block with a repeater like this. Or another way is to power a block next to this dust, like that. So if I was to place a repeater toward that block, that would work too. So if I wanted to place a lever here, for example, I would place a slab here. I wouldn't place a full block because of course it's next to this piston. Then a block here, two bits of dust like that, 
and a torch. So now when it's off, the door is closed, click the lever and it's on. <laughs> it's really, really simple. Oh, you don't want a lever. You want a T-flip-flop. Well, cue the music. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye! Oh, it's hot. <laughs>